is, oops, messing things up. All right, so welcome to the Death Wagon. This is, I believe, our fourth um, celebrating event where we have done one of these Death Wagons. Over the last couple of days, I have been uh, raffling off seats to participate. Um, so five of you guys are lucky enough, actually four of you, because someone won two seats. Um, so four of you guys are lucky enough to uh, try to make the trek to Oregon. Uh, survivors are going to get rewards. If people die, then the remaining survivors get their rewards. So it's a bit of a gamble as far as giveaways go. Winning a seat does not mean you win something cool. Uh, we are giving away Cool Stuff gift cards this time. So if you're the only survivor, you're going to have a really big payday. I've got my coffee, and I think we're ready to go. Um, so uh, many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. Do I wanna be a banker, a carpenter, or a farmer? Find out the differences. I usually pick carpenter. I don't want it to be too hard. I don't want it to be too easy. I like carpenter. I think it's fair. It's kind of like playing on normal mode as opposed to easy or hard. Um, so what is the name of the leader? So in order to keep variants uh, out of my control, I type in the names of the winners based on the order in which they um, won the seat on the death wagon. Because, I mean, you know, slot number three is going to get dysentery and die. I don't want to be the reason why that person was in that slot. Um, we'll just type in as much of the name as we can. All right, slot number two went to the brown, uh, we'll just call him Brown Trout. Right, that's his name? Yeah. Slot number three went to Tang. Tang is probably gonna be the first person to die. The next one went to Yanks. And then back to brown trout. Oh, I know. We'll call him Trout Jr. Makes the most uh, sense storyline-wise, right? Are these names correct? Yes. All right, I'm excited. So we're going to do our best to be as fair as possible to everyone. Um, you know, if you have a broken leg, you get just as much time as the other person with a broken leg. So if you're on the train and uh, you're trying to kill off your opponents and you get sick, then you're, you know, you get what you uh, what you put out there. So I'm going to be a wagon mom. I'm going to try and keep everybody fair and reasonable. But uh, yeah, let's give it a try, guys. I think if we leave in March, it's going to be too cold. If we leave in April, you don't want to leave too close to July just because it gets too hot. Hmm. We, I mean, we ran into a lot of heat problems last time. Maybe March is correct. I don't know. I think I always go with April. Seems better. You got to make really good time, though. Plus, we always run out of food. We, we, we want to go faster, I think. All right, before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $800 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. Uh, you can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. I can fix you up with whatever you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon, clothes for both summer and winter, plenty of food for the trip, ammunition for your rifles, and spare parts for your wagon. All right, oxen. Let's buy those first. There are two oxen in a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. Oxen is one of those things. Very early on, we had a bunch of oxen die. And then we just were too slow. So I'm always tempted to get a fourth yoke, but we almost always get three. Thoughts? Do we have anybody in the channel who's actually in on the wagon? You guys can actually uh, throw some input into how we run the game. I don't, I think most of our winners from the week are not currently present, so I think their fate's just mostly in my hand. 
All right, I'm gonna go, well, let's go with three. We can always adjust it. Or I'm sorry, we'll go with four, we can adjust it. Close, I recommend you take at least, oh, this is food, Never mind. Uh, 200 pounds of food for each person. So that's a thousand pounds is what he suggests. And I suck at hunting. So let's go with 1500 pounds. We'll double it. We can always cut it down if we need. Uh, clothing. Warm clothes in the mountains. I recommend at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is $10. I don't understand why clothes are so expensive back then. I can go to a thrift store and get a set of clothes for $10 right now. Although, I guess cloth was harder to make back then. That's true. Uh, I say we get a little extra, but not the full amount, because we have to skimp somewhere. So maybe like seven? Gives us one pair each. Uh, we actually had a thief come in and steal all of our clothes. So we had one pair of clothing between all five people. So we were really confused as to what was going on or how the thief stole the clothes off their bodies. But whatever the game wants. Ammunition. This is something that's really easy to overstock on. I don't think you go through boxes very fast. You don't shoot more than like 10 bullets per time. Usually it's less, it's like three or four. So I think two boxes is probably enough. We can add more if we need it. Spare parts, those are expensive. We usually try to get two each, I think. And we can always trade them around if need be. Uh, $10 a piece. Let's see what it works out to be. So our bill right now is 594. We still have quite a bit left. Um, we have uh, 200 and something. We don't need that much. We should get an extra box of ammunition. I think food is okay. We can go up on the clothing. Do you guys want to up the uh, clothing allowance to the recommended amount? That's 10 sets. This gives us enough money for the ferry at the end. I think it's like 10 or $15. And $150 flex money if we run out of something specific, if we get robbed, we need to buy something at a convenience store. There's no way for us to know what that will be because the thief takes something random. So I think that's probably right. Let's get one more box of bullets, just in case. <laughs> they're cheap, and they're going to go up in price. But 80 bullets is a lot in the game. We got extra oxen. We got the required food. We, we got 50% more food than the required amount. We got the required f clothing, bullets, two of each spare part. I feel like that's really well-rounded. Thoughts? Who do you guys think is gonna die? That's the real question. We should start a betting pool. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a way for me to make this fun for you guys? All right, Twitch chat. We are, no, we are a uh, carpenter. We're in the middle. Who is all on the wagon? We got Sir Ramser, Brown Trout twice, Tang, and Yanks. Hmm. We'll have to think about that, maybe for next time. Which item would you like to buy? Press space bar to leave the store. Well then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a difficult journey ahead of you. Oh, it's super loud, sorry. I feel like the music's a little loud too. Oops.
Yankee Doodle's your jam? Heck yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? It's everyone's jam. All right, uh, continue on. Let's double check our supplies and just make sure we bought the food that we thought we were buying. Bullets 80, sets of clothes, check. Oxen 8. I think we're good. Let's go, guys. Ah, wrong button. Not escape, we need space bars. Space bar to continue. Continue on the trail. From Independence, it is 102 miles to the Kansas River Crossing. Let's go. We're going to be going extra fast, too, because we have the extra oxen, which is nice. When our oxen die, that's when shit goes and gets bad. Uh, would you like to look around? Why not? Kansas City River Crossing. Isn't it beautiful and majestic? Let's attempt to trade and see what that does. I don't think, does trading take a whole day? I don't know, let's find out. You meet another, they want to trade one wagon wheel for, and we'll trade you 82 bullets. Two, four, six, eight, that's $8 worth of bullets for a wagon wheel? That cost 10? No. Not that we would trade away our supplies anyway. Trading does take a whole day. Holy shit, guys. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 622 feet across and four feet deep in the middle. We can't ford that. That's too deep. And we don't have anybody on the actual wagon here in the channel right now. So their fate is in my hands. If they all die, then... The gift cards that we're giving away will be something very unique. I don't know how we'll give that away. Uh, we're going to attempt to uh, cock and float the wagon across the river. We're not paying a ferry. We, we got this. If everybody dies... Oh no! Oh, we lost both axles already? Shit. Nobody died, though. That's good. Uh, maybe they might have died. I don't know. Maybe it'll tell us after. So we tipped over while floating. 49 bullets. So half over half our bullets. Two wagon axles and a tongue. All right. Well. So we need to find a wagon axle. At least we didn't lose, like, all of our food. We did that once. You are now at the Big Blue River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. Ooh. That is very inaccurate. Excuse me. We have two more oxen. Talk to people. Attempt to trade. Stop to rest. Change food rations. What is our food rations? Currently filling. <clears throat> We're all healthy. Let's go to meager for now. We'll up it back. Just to be safe. There is no hunting here, so continue on the trail. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 2.8 feet deep. I think that's fordable. We're gonna get fucked up on these rivers. All right. Your supplies got wet, lose one day. That's not too bad, I'll take that. Um, hunt for food. All right, I don't remember the keys. Pivot, shoot the rifle. Or experts. I'm not an expert. Fire the rifle as a space bar. Uh, enter to walk. All right, we're doing good. We're done. Boop -a doop boop boo. Save my bullets, cause we lost all of our bullets. Boop -a doo. Hunting gets harder later. They put more trees and shit in your way, and they give you like less animals. 
So we're currently using, what is this, two pounds of food per day? That's not bad. We're still well over the amount needed. And hunting takes a whole day. So technically, if you get 100 pounds, you're, only, you're getting nine days worth of food. Yes, we would like to look around. That's so wholesome. Uh, I would like to buy supplies. The ammunition went up a couple of bucks. So we have less than 50, 60, 78, so we have 30 bullets. Let's buy two boxes. We have $167 left, that's pretty good. Oh, what did we lose, Axel? Five, right? Did we lose two axles and a tongue, or two tongues and an axle? Eight, leave store, let me see. Check supplies. We need an axle. Your wagon may only carry three wagon axles. Did I accidentally buy too many? What did I... Oh. Which number one? Wait, no, no, no. What is going on? Did I buy the axle or did I not buy the axle? Ugh, check supplies. Zero, okay. I think I put the number in and then I put five twice. We want number five, we want one axle. There it is. And then we would like to leave the store. I like saving the money in case we, you know, run into some danger. Normally I would at this point buy food, but I think we're okay. 200 miles. Health is fair, not good. All right, guys. Hunting. Oh, I'm in a terrible spot. I can't get out of here. I'm trapped. Oh, there it is. I can't. Oh, thank goodness. I got lucky there. Sometimes deers are not quite 100 pounds, so... I don't know why I'm trying to shoot this bunny. A waste of bullets. If I see another deer, I will shoot it. Just to, just to be safe. Sixty-nine pounds, yeah. So we only made fifty-nine pounds. About about six days worth of food there. But that's okay. Oh no, Yanks has a snake bite. No one has passed away yet, Epic. All right, question. What do we want to do? Health is fair. Yeah, so health was fair earlier. I wasn't gonna put the food back up until we had something actually happen. So now we have a snake bite. We want to Check the rations. We're gonna put it back to filling. And then I think we want to rest. The question is, is how much? We wanna make it fair for everybody. We don't want it to take too long because you can't hunt during that time, which makes no sense. There's four other people. Why can't they be hunting? Whatever. Um. I think the standard we typically go with is about two days. How many pounds of meat is Yanks? That's a good question. I mean, if we get desperate. A very good question indeed. Two days? We'll give them three days. We're doing, we're doing well with time and food, I think. He usually... 
or okay whew, something popped up immediately and that's usually when it'll tell you if someone died chimney rock may 10th so we are a little over what 40 days into our trip Brown trout has the measles. Oh boy. Let's, we can change the pace. What, what are we at currently? We're currently at a steady pace. Strenuous. Oh wow, grueling. We're going the slowest pace? I didn't know that. We'll keep it there because someone's sick, and then hopefully we can up it. I didn't know there was... I thought we were going medium. Uh, let's go ahead and rest. What do you guys think? Is measles as severe as a snake bite? Essence of Nightshade? It's contagious. Helson, I know. We're talking about how many days we should rest. All right. Three days, brown trout. Don't die. Bro don't die, brown trout. We still have a thousand pounds of food. Would you like to look at it? I feel like I always do and I don't get it. Here lies Voland. Hey, hey, hey. Come out and play. I have an extra trout, one less won't hurt. Would you like to look around? Yes. We're so friendly with the Indians. We don't want to attempt to trade. I don't think we need anything to, we don't need to buy anything. Hang has a fever. God damn it, guys. We did up the rations, right? Currently filling, yeah, okay. We're going the slowest pace possible. Stop to rest. We'll give Tang three days. I'm gonna start cutting you guys off though, cause we're gonna go down to two days. We're gonna end up uh, not having enough food. Need to get around this deer. Shit. Can't get around him. He's too. Okay, that's enough. Whew. I think he died of a broken arm last time. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Continue on the trail. We don't want to rest anymore. Ooh, wild fruit's nice. Brown Trout Jr. has the measles. Bit. Brown Trout, you gave your son the measles. All right. Told you I was going to start cutting you guys off. We're not going to make it in time if we keep resting three days for everything. This is the most sickness we've had. Still don't understand why we can't hunt during that time, but... Very little water. Brown trout has cholera. Oh my God, brown trout. Rest. Try not to die, brown trout. Oh no. Ah. Oh my god, if I miss this, I'm gonna. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> no! Okay, that's that's 100 pounds. How did I miss that fucking thing? I'm the worst hunter ever.
Would you like to look around? Sure. Press spacebar continue. Let's check the map and see how far we are. We're actually doing really well. We're like almost halfway. And we've used up about half of our food. So I think I want to change the rations again. Just for a little bit. I suck at hunting. And it taking a full day to hunt is just brutal. Oh my god, seriously? Got it. Whew. Also, I don't understand why we are we can carry in the wagon 1,500 pounds of food, but you can only carry 100 pounds back to the wagon. A, that's not very much weight. And B, can't we just move the wagon to the thing? It takes a whole day. If I shoot something, I feel like we could move the wagon there and then... In, in a reasonable amount of time. <sighs> we are now at the South Pass. Would you like to look around? That's me. I'm purple. The trail divides here. Green River Crossing or the Fort? I think we always want to go to just Green River Crossing. Because the Fort takes us further south, yeah. We should up our rations again. We've had mostly successful hunting days. Green River Crossing. You're using too much logic for a video game. The cats are setting a trap. Oh no. All right. Um, I think we just continue. All right. Currently 20 feet deep. Oh my God. We gotta float it. How do you get the how do you get the oxen across when you float it? Take the ferry. How much is the ferry? Five dollars. Yes. Five dollars in two days, which we also can't hunt during. Don't kill us, ferry. Don't kill us. The ferry got you across safely. Yes. Lose the trail, lose five days, and you can't hunt during that time either. We're down to 600 pounds of food. That's really low. Oh, yeah. All right, that's 100 pounds. I've had bears weigh 80 pounds before, so I'll put an extra bullet in a deer. We're not sport hunting, but we're also making sure we get our 100 pounds. Also, like a 69 pound deer? What the fuck is that? How big is it? It's like the size of my purse. All right, guys, nobody's dead. 
remember the winners all get cool stuff gift cards if they survive and the uh survivors get the gift cards of the people who died so i mean that's the way it works right if if you have a friend and they die on the Oregon Trail, like clearly you get their stuff. So it, it just makes sense. So there are there are stuff on the line here. We don't want people to die. Unless you're on it, then you want other people to die. Back up to 800 pounds of food. Doing all right. Let's take a look at the map and see how much more food realistically we need. So we're at about 800, we bought 1500 to start, so we have half of our food left. It's getting tough. And it's only gonna get harder to hunt. So I think I'm gonna hunt like two more days here. Oh fuck. And just hope. Um, we're going to hope that we don't run into any issues where we lose our food either in the water or with thieves. What a great choice in games. Bring back so many memories. Yeah. This is actually one of our giveaways that we're doing right now. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you already know that, but so many rocks. Oh, bear. Um, so every day of the week, Monday through Friday, I've been raffling off seats, uh, and then the winners get a place on the Oregon Trail, and the survivors will get gift cards to Cool Stuff Inc. And, uh, the, if you die, then your stuff gets transferred to the survivors. All right, continue. Ooh, wild fruit. Yeah. 20 extra pounds plus I hit 200. One of the oxen is injured. Hmm. Can we eat it? We can't eat it. It doesn't let you eat it. Um, I accidentally hit enter, but the oxen didn't die, so that's good. You are now at the springs. Would you like to look around? Aw. So look, that's Trout and Trout Jr., Tang, do you want to be purple or pink? Press four, convert to food. What? Change pace? We don't need to change our pace. I think steady pace is fine. Brown trout has typhoid, Ty typhoid, measles, and what else did you have? Come on, brown trout. You're always sick, man. All right, six, well, I mean, two more days. That's what we said. We were downing it from three to two because we had too much sickness. We were gonna lose too much time. It's already July. Would you like to look around? Why, yes, we would. Fort Hall. Let's check supplies. Food, change pace, rations. Uh, should we just buy food? Just to be safe in case we lose the trail a bunch? One time we like lost the trail for like eight days, 10 days, 12 days, and just like over and over again. We have a lot of extra money. Let's see what it costs here. 40 cents per pound. We have $140. Can we gamble on how long it takes trout to get contravirus, coronavirus? <laughs> All right, so food, seven. How many pounds do we wish to buy? Hundred pounds is a couple of days. It's forty dollars, so maybe two hundred pounds. We're not going to get very many opportunities to buy stuff again. Ammo? We, we did buy new ammo. 
$69 is enough. Oops, wrong button. $69 is enough to get the final ferry. So let's leave the store. Check supplies. Yeah, we have 36 bullets. I think that's enough. Unless we lose them. Brown Trout has a broken arm. Oh my gosh. I'm Dude, we're trying to save you. But like you're impossible to save. Lost the trail five days. So that right there is a hundred pounds of food, more than a hundred pounds. That's all the food we just bought. Ah, that one. Phew. Can't get it. Sixty seven pounds. One more. Oh, that was close. Whew. Eat trout? We're going to have to if he keeps getting sick. All right, so we got 170-ish pounds. Uh, but it took us two days. That's 30 down. So 150. Helps. Brings us back up to the 800 mark. Would you like to look around? Yes. I feel like we're getting really close, guys. Let's look at a map. Hell yeah. We're doing all right. You must cross currently 1,000 feet deep, 6.2 feet in the middle. Hire an Indian to help. How much is that going to cost us? Take your wagon across the river in exchange for three sets of clothing. Will you accept this offer? I've had them kill us before. What do you guys think we should do? We have exactly the required, not required, but the suggested amount of clothing. Do you guys think we can afford to take three off? And they might kill us anyway. Or we just cock the bitch and float her across. We can't afford it, Summer, come on. Answer overrated. All right. Yes. Oops, that's a no. Help you float across. Oh, no. It's so long. It's so dramatic. No, no, no. Oh, you had no trouble floating across. Trying to get everybody to survive. Brown trout has dysentery. Oh, my God. Poor guy, man. He's literally gotten everything in the game. He got cholera, measles, broken arm, dysentery. I think there's like two other things. How does he keep surviving? He's a very sick cockroach.
you broke a wagon axle. Would you like to try to repair it? I think the axle is the one that we, you were unable to repair the wax, rag, wagon axle. You must replace it with a spare. Um, a fort, we can see how much it costs. Impassable trail, lose one day. It becomes passable in one day, that's good. A wagon tongue, I was like, oh no, 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 no. You were unable to repair the broken wagon tongue. You must replace it with a spare part. It takes one day. Check supplies. So we have no tongues and no axles. Shit. All right, Fort, uh, hook us up. How wholesome. Buy supplies. Holy smokes. Forty something dollars? I think that's okay. I think it's less than 20 for the last remaining fairy. So I think that's okay. We just lose the game if we can't rep repair the thing. So I guess we have to do it. One. Six. One. Hundred and something miles. Let's see. Look at the map. We're getting super close. We only have 400 pounds of food. Shit, shit, shit. That's not that many. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, this is a great place. Oh, no. Definitely shooting this double, double bear. I'm not going to have a 90 pound bear. <clears throat> oh, God, damn it. Right in the face. All right, perfect. You find an abandoned wagon that has three sets of clothing. We got our clothes back, yay! Sweet. Heavy fog, lose one day. That's all right, I'm an expert hunter now. You are now at the Blue Mountains. Would you like to look around? Why, yes, I would. Those are blankets, not clothing, Jess. Come on now. The trail is divided to Walla Walla and head for Dallas. Let's look at the map. We want the most direct path. Direct path. Go. 400 pounds of food. Broken wagon axle. Would you like to try to repair it? Oh no! We only have the one! Please don't break again. Please don't break again. You were unable to repair it. Oh shit. If we die of another wagon axle, I'm gonna be tilted. Can you break something else, please? 300 pounds of food? 200? Hold! Uh, 
Uh, let's... We can't hunt here, so... Health is fair. Let's change the rations to meager. And continue. Float down the river, take the toll. I will absolutely take the toll. You must pay $9. Are you willing to pay this? Yes. 100 miles to the valley. A fire in the wagon results in a loss of four sets of clothing and one wagon tongue. Shit, we only had one tongue. Our parts are taking a beating this time. Who, who lit the fire? Brown trout, what is wrong with you? This is a good screenshot right here of my fucking wagon on fire. Oh wait, so this is, let's do the whole thing. All right. 200 pounds of food, a rough trail, rut row. A thief comes in the night and steals 94 pounds of food. Stop it. I have no food. I'm trying to make everybody survive. That's kind of a bad spot, actually. I can't get up there. Oh, I can get nothing. We're going to waste food here. No, bad angles, trees everywhere. The rat. You guys are all going to die. Got it. Yeah. So we lost two days of food, but gained 10. So net eight on, on these meager rations. Doing all right. Continue down the trail. Brown Trout has a broken arm. Seriously, dude, if you die here? Fuck. We're so close. We're so close. Look, look at the star. Oh, you can't see the scar star. Hang on. I can fix this. Look how close we are. We're right there. Why am I so weak in this game? Dude, your son is fine, though. Brown Trout Jr. has only been sick once. All right, well, let's rest. We got, I got some food. I, I did some, some, rest, some hunting. If you die of a broken arm, like that's just on you, man. Brown Trout, have you been here for the whole game? You've been sick with literally everything. <laughs> That's true. Helson's right. You're not weak. You're strong. You've survived everything in the book. You're as strong as they come. Don't die. Don't die. I think that's the finish line. Don't die. Congratulations. You've made it to Oregon. Let's see how many points you've received. Five people in fair health. 2,000 points. One wagon... One eight oxen. All of our oxen survived. Fuck yeah. Uh, eight or two extra spare parts. Six sets of clothing. Bullets give us no extra points. It's probably one point per box, I would imagine. And only 140 pounds of food. We were really close to dying there. Uh, and $15 in cash. Totaling points 2100. We're going a carpenter. Your bonus points are doubled. 4200. That puts us in sixth place for the website. Close.
if we hadn't lost uh, those clothes at the end there, we might have might have been able to uh, overtake them. Well done, well done. Yay us. So guys, that means everybody on the Oregon Trail has survived this time. So everybody who participated is all going to get a uh, $25 gift card to Cool Stuff Inc. Um, you guys can use the code on it to get an extra 5% off. Uh, as you guys know all that jazz from below. And that's awesome. I'm very excited that I was able to get everybody to survive. This is a fun type of giveaway, but it always feels really bad if like one person dies because then they're the only one to not get anything. So I'm excited. I, uh, I like that everybody survives and everybody gets their, their prizes and gift cards. So congratulations, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Death Wagon giveaway. And uh, I'm sure if you guys are watching this on YouTube, we'll be doing more of these in the future. If you had a good time, maybe you guys can come into the channel and uh, try to get a seat yourself. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. If you enjoyed the content, please click the link below to check out our sponsor, Cool Stuff Inc. Without them, none of this content would be possible and they've actually given us a 5% off code, so check that out. Also, a big, big thank you to all of you who have signed up for my Patreon. Many of you guys see your names here on this screen. And again, none of this content would be possible without you. So thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.